know what? Fuck it. We've all seen the fucking video. I don't- I'm not gonna go over the fucking video right now. This is stupid. This is stupid. Everybody's seen the fucking video. Everybody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay? If you guys don't know, Jordan Cheyenne, here's a picture of her on the fucking screen. Jordan Cheyenne, she went through some toxic shit with her son. She was she was fucking manipulating her son to smile at the camera after their dog who had cancer. They had they had just gotten the news that the dog had cancer. The dog was gonna die soon. She's in the car with her son. She's trying to make a thumbnail for the video. She's like, ah, come on, act like you're crying. Kid's like, I am crying, mom, you fucking dumb bitch. And it's just annoying to have to hear this shit over and over and over and over. Everybody's regurgitating the same shit. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Look, guys. Look. Right here. Okay? Right here. Nobody cares. Okay? I said it. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody fucking cares. Obviously, people care. Obviously. All right? But the thing is here is that Jordan Cheyenne is doing what you motherfuckers want her to do. Okay? This is how you win in the YouTube game. Let's stop acting as if this isn't what everybody on fucking YouTube does already, okay? People do this, people dramatize shit. They go, oh, well, let's pause for a fucking thumbnail. Okay, you got the thumbnail. Okay, great. And then you got you got the fucking thumbnail, you use your damn thumbnail and shit, and then you fucking put it up. And that's it, that's how you do the fucking video, that's how you do this, how you get the most clicks, the most views. You motherfuckers, you, you guys incentivize this shit because the shit with the most exaggerated expressions on the thumbnails and the crazy titles and all that, that's the most click shit on this platform. So let's not act like this is all just on the fucking, I mean, obviously she's a horrible mother, I mean, come on, she's a fucking YouTuber. We do have to look at the facts that you motherfuckers you motherfuckers are the reason why motherfuckers feel the need that they have to exaggerate and do this shit anyway. She might be a great mom. That might have been like just her weakest point. She was just thinking about the money at the time. You always think about what's going to make the most views, what's going to have the most impact on their career. They're always on go mode. She's probably lost a few dogs in her lifetime. I mean, she does look very old. She probably went through about three or four dogs. So, you know, a dog having cancer probably isn't a huge shock for her, unfortunately. Okay, obviously this is horrible. You guys want my serious, my serious opinion? Me not trying to fucking crack a joke every five seconds? Obviously this is horrible. She should be doing a better job at being a more attentive parent to her child. Obviously that kid is going through a horrible time, a very stressful time, and a very painful time. He needs to talk to someone. Might be a therapist if she can afford it, or just a counselor at school. You know, kids go through losing pets i remember when i lost my first pet i was like i want to say eight or nine i had a pet hamster he just fucking died um i think he like hurt his back on we had like a pretty large cage for him right so and we had like these little stairs thing or whatever and i think he just fell wrong in there or something something that happened and the motherfucker died and i was fucking i was i was torn apart and i was crying bawling my eyes out oh mommy scott i, I named him scott i was like scott he fucking died scott died and my mom was just like it's okay baby it's all right he gave me a hug you know and then i remember i got a ice cream scooper and i went in the backyard with his dead body and i, I was just fucking sobbing right and then I'm making a little hole for him with the ice cream scooper, man. I, like, I kid you not, bro. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny that this all come out. <laughs> when I think about it, it's hilarious. Because it's like a fucking ice cream scooper. Like, who would have thought? Balling my eyes out, I put him there. You know, that was a very intense learning experience. He looks about around that age range. So I wouldn't put it past him to be torn apart by something like this. Especially a dog. They live a very long time. When you lose a dog or lose any animal, to be completely honest with you, unless you're a psychopath or a sociopath or something, you're going to feel that shit. You're going to feel it. It's going to hurt. You know, even for an older person, pet dog or a cat or something, that Dying is like it's the worst pain ever, you know? Hopefully he does get the help for that. She needs to learn a bit more compassion for her child. Not everything should be turned into content. The bad side of this internet game is that everything, you think everything is gonna turn into fucking content. What am I, what, what can I do? What can I do? How can I fucking frame this story? Da 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 da. What can I do? What does I wanna use the thumbnail? Da 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 da. You know, it's, it's like it's, your brain's going a billion miles per hour trying to fucking 
shoot out ideas, it's toxic as hell. But that's how people make it in YouTube. Yeah, you know, she deleted her account apparently, which is huge, you know? That's a, that's a huge thing. Generally, when you see people going through like some controversy like this, they can actually get back into the game if they wait it out for like a month. They can get back into the game. Yeah, she just uh, she just deleted the account. So, um, uh, sucks to suck, man. Sucks to fucking suck. Uh, seriously, like, wow. Uh, uh, that's kind of, you know. But, I mean, I, you know, if she can, like, if she can survive without YouTube and making YouTube videos, then good on her. That was a good move. Um, because that's going to inevitably make living with her, life around her, that much better. But I got a feeling that she's gonna, she's either gonna try to get that account back or she's gonna make a new one and she's gonna restart it because, I mean, come on. Eventually, people are going to fucking forget all about who she is and what she made and what she did and da 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 da. And then she's gonna be fine again. So, what happened with, I'm not even gonna name anybody, you already know. There's, there's some people popping up in your head right now when I'm saying that they went through some horrible controversy that did way worse things than this woman. I mean, way much worse, much worse. And they are completely fine. It is what it is. It's the YouTube game. What do you guys think about this story? I don't really give a fuck about it, to be completely honest with you. I only covered it because you motherfuckers really love this shit. So congratulations, you made me cover it. And I just, I joked around for like 10 minutes and gave you a serious answer for about five of those minutes. And then that was about it. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, like this video. If you dislike this video, please leave my fucking account. I'm just kidding. Send it to your worst enemy. I'm sure they would love it. As always, this is Genshin Kenshin. Thank you guys for watching. There's going to be a few more videos today if I can manage to fucking find things to talk about. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Peace.